When you use AEC window objects in your 3D scene, you will need to apply a special type of material known as a multi sub object material to them in order to be able to apply the materials to the different elements of the window. If you're following along, continue on with this lesson. If not, open the file Chapter 16 Office Suite Material 04.max. In this lesson, we're going to apply materials that we will set up to work with the AEC windows that we've added to our scene. The windows that we've added are the fixed window style from the AEC window options that are built into 3ds Max. Window objects contain five sub-materials. One material for the glass and four for the window frame and sash components. We're going to use a multi sub-object material in order to apply the materials correctly to the window. From the main toolbar, click on the Compact Material Editor option. In the Material Editor, click the Next Open Material Preview Sample slot. In this case, it is the first slot in the third row. First, we need to change the material type. A simple way to do this is to click on the Material Type button, where it says Arc and Design, to the right of the Name Type In. This opens the Material Map Browser. Navigate to the Materials Rollout. Open the Standard Materials Rollout and choose the Multi Subobject Material Type. Then click OK. We want to discard the old material, so choose the Discard Old Material option. Since we're going to be using Autodesk materials for both glazing and metal, we do not need the old Arc and Design material. By default, it comes up with 10 materials. We only need 5. In the Multi Sub Object Basic Parameters rollout, click Set Number. In the Set Number of Materials dialog, change the value to 5 and click OK. You'll notice now that the material has 5 submaterials in the submaterial list. There's an ID column that specifies the material ID for that particular material, and it has a name column that allows us to apply a name to that material ID slot. This is not the same as the material name. It only identifies the ID slot the material goes in. First, click on the name box for ID 3 and name this Glass and press Enter. In order to apply the material to the window objects, we first need to select all the windows. Click the Select by Name button in the main toolbar to open the Select From Scene dialog. In the Object list, scroll down until you see the objects Fix Window 01, Fix Window 02, and Fix Window 03. Holding the Control key down, click to select the three fixed window objects. Click OK to select the window objects. We now have three windows selected. If you click over to the Modify panel, you'll see these are parametric AEC Windows objects. These are built into 3ds Max and can come in very handy when working with architectural scenes. In the Material Editor, click Assign Material to Selection in the bottom toolbar. This will assign the material to the three windows in our scene. You'll notice that there are triangles in the corners of the material sample window. They've also turned white, indicating the material is now applied to the currently selected object. The one thing we need to do before we finish is to name our material. Click in the material name type in and name the material AEC Windows and press enter. Once we've assigned our material to the windows and named it, we can save the file. In the upper left, click the Application button, click Save As, and increment the file to save this as 05. 